Hello and welcome to Off Chain. My name is Jimmy Sung and today is uh, November 17th, 2017. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. I want to show you a few things um, before I get to sort of the topic du jour, which is um, Segwit 2x may or may not be demo of one of our first cross chain atomic swaps between the Bitcoin and Litecoin test nets yeah, using. So, so this is a video you, you should definitely take a look. This is a lightning cross chain block, uh, cross blockchain swap between Bitcoin and Litecoin. Uh, extremely exciting stuff. You guys know that I am very into uh, these cross chain atomic swaps as a way to decentralize exchanges quite a bit. Anyway. Um, yeah, some some other stuff going on. Uh, you can see that the mempool continues to come down. Uh, we are now, you know, at lower levels than um, some. You know, we're we're heading into the weekend. Typically, there's uh, there's much less uh, during the weekend, and we got we got some transactions in these uh, these three bands. So transactions are getting a lot cheaper. Um, I imagine over the weekend, uh, depending on what happens with two X that it will um, sort of change things uh, and, you know, um, you know, get get even cheaper than this. Uh, let's see another story today. Um, oh, you know what? I wasn't showing the whole thing. Ugh, I'm sorry. All right. Here's. Uh, yeah. So here's the lightning cross chain atomic swap uh, video. You, you guys should t definitely take a look. Um, here's the mempool it keeps going down. Like I said, it's probably going to go down all the way. Um, all the way to um, you know like pretty minimally uh, let me turn off slack so it doesn't keep bothering me um, oh gosh all right so let's take a look here uh, here is coinbase um, they are uh, they are announcing coinbase custody uh, which is which is uh, basically a way for them to uh do some you know basically hold bitcoins for large hedge funds and stuff uh this is a big deal because custody is one of the biggest problems right now for a lot of these hedge funds and even institutional investors that want to uh invest in bitcoin so that that should theoretically bring in a lot of money uh i mean you never know for sure they're not gonna hedge funds aren't gonna tell you what they're gonna do that's something to watch uh, this is uh, coin dot dance and um, yeah you can you can see that uh, segwit 2x chain is currently sitting at block height of 494782 waiting for the first greater than one megabyte block to uh, be mined segwit 2x chain is currently lagging behind the main chain by 15 blocks so I think what they're doing is um, running uh, you know Bitcoin uh btc1 um and they're they're seeing what happens um but yeah that that forking block was mined a couple hours ago um a lot more hash power has come back online um recently uh and we can we can take a look at like fork.lol actually um and uh and see some of the stats there um i i guess you guys can't see the right side because i didn't do this right um here, let me let me fix this real quick. Um, add, yeah, see, this is what happens when you try to run new software. Um, all right. Um, yeah, this is not working. Uh, let me remove that. Screen capture. Um, so that should be better. Let me make this as big as possible. All right, that's better. All right, and you can see fork.lol. Um, this is the Dari, uh, which is sort of like a profitability thing. Uh, but the hash rate remains pretty low for uh, Bitcoin cash. And so it's, it's made it a lot better for uh, Bitcoin. And that's why we're, we're finding pretty frequent blocks now. Um, and you know, that's, that's, that's also why, um, the mempool continues to go down. Uh, there's a Segwit 2 X update, uh, f uh, from GDAX and Coinbase. Um, I think, uh, I, I believe they've already re-enabled it. Uh, this was sort of like a warning of what they would do. 
There's also this project, Bitcoin 2M. Uh, this is uh, Bitcoin 2 megabytes plus Segwit. Um, they are, they were, uh, I mean, this is sort of uh, the hard fork thing that they were going to do. They're going to change the mining algorithm to be GPU, dynamic difficult adjustment every two blocks. Uh, they would have SegWit, they would have two-way replay protection, they'll pre-mine a bunch of blocks, and the fork height will be that, which, which they haven't really done yet. So, um, yeah, uh, and, uh, and this is uh, apparently like in the works. I think they're taking uh, Bitcoin Gold's model and sort of like uh, picking a block to fork off of and just sort of waiting it out. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens with this project, but this is yet another hard fork to keep uh, track of. Here is 2-Bit Idiot's column from last night, Politics, Religion, and Bitcoin Cash. He, he says that, uh, you know, it's possible that Bitcoin Cash, um, you know, has a decent chance. Um, he, he estimates, you know, a non-trivial chance of Bitcoin Cash overtaking Bitcoin. Uh, speaking of which, uh, if you take a look at Bitcoin Cash, we hit a low. Uh, we we almost got to point one, and then we we had this uh, large pump going all the way to point one six, and now it's like stabilized around point one four. Um, you know, this is still way below you know the highs up here, and you know it it, it it's sort of downtrending. But maybe maybe they bounced off of here, which which seemed to be uh, kind of a big technical yeah i don't know uh, well yeah th those did have some prior highs but i don't know i think uh this would be where well point one would seem more likely to be the place where they would bounce um and why is this pumping well this might be one reason um genesis uh mining um they are doing a bitcoin cash auction for the first time sometimes uh later today um, it, it ends at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and uh, and they're they're uh, selling some Bitcoin cash in an auction. Uh, we'll, we'll see what the price of those is um, and who buys them. So that that will be pretty big. Another news. This is Mimble Wimble. Uh, they they released Testnet one. Um, so you can you can test Mimble Wimble if you don't know what that is. It's a it's a really cool project based on you know, um, uh, you know, confidential transactions uh, to some degree, but there's no real blockchain and you have cut throughs and all this other stuff. It's really cool. Eventually they want to make it a side chain, but they're releasing it as its own chain for now, um, at least on testnet. All right. Uh, this is Bitcoin Gold. They've been accused of scamming quite a bit. They have this uh, new blog post out, Safety is Critical. Um, and they are saying, hey, we're a target. They, they accidentally put, um, you know, a wallet that, w that had malware in it on their web page, which is not a great idea. Again, you should look at all your software first. Um, and as a result, uh, you, know, you know, between that and the mining pool fee, uh, you know, they're, they're sort of stagnating at around the $150. Uh, yeah, there, there was uh, some talk that maybe they had an off by one error in the BTC one repository. Um, I've been looking at the code. I didn't, I didn't quite see it because it's, uh, it uses FBIP 140, uh, BIP 102 first block and it, you have, it gets like, um, version bit state. Uh, but I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I, there, there's some word that there was an off by one error. But regardless, um, Segwit2x has not forked, and we can see that right here. Um, it's, it's still sort of waiting for the first greater than one megabyte uh, block to be mined. And I think we can look at uh, BTC, BTC fork monitor, and that will tell us. Uh, whether or not we've actually forked, but I, I believe they're behind by quite a bit. Um, all right, anyway, let me come back to my camera here. Uh, yeah, B BTC fork monitor is not working right now. Um, anyway, let's see if there's anything. Oh, I have a super chat. Um, how much probability and percentage do you think Bitcoin Cash can become a valuable or even more valuable than Bitcoin Core, you recommend keeping all forks? I mean, that's, uh, that's I mean, when, when you get into recommendation territory, it's always a little bit 
hard. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Um, I, I would say, you know, keep whatever and, you know, uh, make your own judgment. I, I mean, Bitcoin Cash has some different properties. My investment thesis has always been that Bitcoin is best as a store of uh, value, not as a medium of exchange, and I invest accordingly. Depends on what your investment thesis is. Is, it, is this a store of value? Why'd you invest? Are you doing it to go buy lots of stuff uh, or are you doing it to store value? So based on that, I would, um, I would say go do whatever. Um, Oh, somebody's saying all-time high incoming. Yeah, it's it's getting very close. Um, I mean, we did almost hit eight thousand yesterday, um, but yeah, it's uh, we're we're still sort of you know waiting for that to happen. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying out some new software. I thank you guys for your patience. I know there's like a giant lag and everything, um, but yeah, we'll 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 see what happens, and uh, and I I look forward to seeing you guys uh you know probably later today i'm going to be on the bitcoin group on world crypto network most likely i'll probably have some other stuff going on um especially if if we do find a block on that 2x fork what we'll do is probably come on come on air and talk about it or something like that i, I don't know i got i got a lot of phone calls too and a lot of other crap to do so um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, um, and, uh, this song is done.